Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So guys, we're going to be going over our games against Tribe Gaming in Queso Cup. <clears throat> now these games are really important for us. We needed to win to secure first place. And uh, first place is very important because you don't have to play any playoffs until the finals. And Bobby's going on vacation, so we're going to have server issues against some of the teams that uh, we would face if we don't get first. So we really wanted to win this one. But uh, yeah, it is going to be the final time in 2022 that we play against Tribe Gaming. So, you know, we've had a bit of a back and forth rivalry for a while now. So, you know, definitely want to end the year on a win against them. But uh, yeah, we're going to get into the games right after a shout out to today's sponsor. All right, guys. So I'm super excited for today's sponsor. It is repeat.gg. It is a website that is a tournament hosting platform, and they're hosting a really big Brawl Stars tournament with Tribe Gaming for $5,000 coming up. I'm going to be in it with my team. Make sure you guys sign up on the website. I'll put the link below and, uh, and follow all the steps just to be in there and to participate. You'll get a chance to play against me and my team because like I said, we're going to be in there. It's really easy to sign up too, guys. So you just need your Brawl Stars ID, which you can get under your profile, and then you enter it on repeat.gg website. So the first format, the Trophy Grind, it's a month-long tournament where uh, it's just the total amount of trophies that you gain over a month period. And uh, yeah, usually you'll gain more trophies <laughs> than you lose, so you'll always have a chance of winning as long as you are playing a good amount of Brawl Stars. Now, the second format is a Power League one, so over two hours you want to go on a Power League win streak. As many wins as you can get in two hours, and whoever collects the most wins at the end of those two hours will be the winner of that as well. So two really cool formats. Strongly suggest you guys go check it out. This is repeat.gg's first entry into mobile gaming and they're hoping to expand a lot in 2023. So it'd be really good if you guys got in early on it and uh, there's a lot of opportunity on this website, especially for those that are interested in more than just like playing Brawl Stars casually, you know? I personally love the chance of winning stuff. So I'm gonna be in a bunch of their events. Make sure you guys are too. And yeah, just one final shout out, guys. Make sure you go check out the $5,000 Tribe Gaming Tournament being hosted on repeat.gg. And just once again, shout out to them for sponsoring this video. Appreciate it a lot, guys. Really dope website. Yeah, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so getting started. Uh, I am just going to be covering one game per set. And uh, I'm in this one, but it's Queso Cup, so we rotate. <clears throat> and I don't really mind because it's Queso Cup. But if it's something like more serious, you know, like, you know... <laughs> Try flag more because I like playing obviously in competitive stuff, but it is a really good match against Tribe. So uh, you can see we're on pit stop. This is probably one of our best maps right now. I think overall, like this year, we've been really solid at heist. We've always had like a really good idea of when to go aggro, when to defend, and like just playing the proper rules. So you're gonna see I'm on Spike, uh, and Spike just recently got a new mythic gear that uh, I strongly recommend you guys get. It's really good for his slow, and every time you hit someone, like, with your super, like, if it's, like, they're in the center, they're just, like, dead because the slow, they just can't move out of it. So, it's definitely a really good gear, and, uh, <clears throat> you can see it is 1-1 one, one right now. So, pretty much the Carl is their main source of damage, so I've been trying to stick on, like, Carl does beat Spike, I think, but, uh, you know, you can play it right on Spike, and as long as you have, like, some good positioning, and he has to walk up to you then uh, I think it's fine. So you can see I kind of whiffed my super there. That was a mistake. I should have just held on to it until uh, it was a guaranteed hit, but I think I do take Tyrant out. I get him one shot. So we've just been sending Zar on uh, like suicide missions to reach the safe, and he's done a good job. Grom is so strong right now, guys. They buffed it, and it's like very hard to dodge. Does like 2k damage at least per shot. It is just like a really strong brawler. So Tyron's going to go in there, but I will get some really good shots off and I'll just kind of like three tap him. He did hit the safe once, I think. So they'll do 4%, but uh, you know, we'll take that every time. We get a lot of positioning off that. And like I said, I am just focused on defense. Bobby's job is like mid control and Zara is just getting to that safe. So it is 1v2 right now. So we're going to pinch Zula now and you can just see that spike gear coming through clutch. It's going to enable Zar to pinch, and uh, yeah, it's really great for pinches, especially if you have something like a thrower or like a long-range brawler that can just like kind of peg when they're slowed. It works out really well. So we're up by a good amount right here. So I know we just have to defend, and uh, yeah, really solid defense this game. They only did 4% with one like Carl hit, and uh, Zar did a really good job. Everyone on my team played really well, to be honest. I, I do think we have comp here, though. So yeah, we're going to take set number one. 
All right, guys, set number two. So it's going to be on Super Beach. And uh, like I said, I am sitting for this one. So I think Bobby was saying, like, our comp's, like, unplayable. Like, I kind of like our comp a, good, uh, a lot. So the spike kind of just wins lane. And, uh, yeah, the buzz was our last pick. So I think it's good into everyone besides, like, the Chester, which you guys will see. And uh, I think we just played it really bad, to be honest. And uh, you can just see, like, it's... We're just getting kind of like double hit by the Carl a lot. Zara's trying to defend. Nothing you can really do at that point. But I, it just looks like really sloppy kind of. Um, and I definitely think we can win. Bobby was saying like unplayable, like stuff like that. And I think he just needs to stay off the Chester side because Buzz is really good into Carl and Gus. But uh, I think he kept trying to go in on the Chester. And he's going to miss like a good amount of supers too. So definitely not the best game I've seen from Bobby. Uh and I made sure to let him know about it. Like, it it just looked, like, pretty bad, to be honest, watching it back. Um, but, yeah, it's still winnable. And, you know, it definitely is winnable because we won the first game. So we were up <clears throat> one nothing on this map. And uh, <clears throat> they did win the second game pretty convincingly. I think they 2-0'd with, like, a minute and a half left or something like that. But you can see Bobby's going to go in. But uh, he would have killed him. He did get the Gust Shield, though. And it's just... A lot of extra damage so i think it's just like you got to use your brain a lot more and just like play the matchups and they're rotating too obviously but like i think if we got like one good buzz super or like like you, you can just see it. it's like it's like kind of hard to watch honestly like i tried hard not to play them but this is like the worst buzz game i've ever seen so far to be honest so like <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's 30 seconds left and, you know, it's definitely, like, winnable at this point still. I think they, they're just not, like, playing together at all. So Bobby does get super and Zara has a slow. Sans, he gets a kill, which is really good. Zara's going to manage to stay alive. Uh, and fortunately, oh, okay, he does take a Tyrant, though. So I think right here, like, there's still, like, maybe they do some crazy play or something. I mean, he got pretty close. That's, like, the first time. I didn't see it live, but, uh, yeah, maybe not winnable, but I think they could have played that one a lot better, so it's going to be tied 1-1 after that. All right, guys, game number three. So it is 1-1, and I like our comp a lot here, too. I think the B has a really good matchup into the Crow or the Otis, but I think the Grom mid has, like, a really free game, and uh, I think our comp's just better, to be honest, by, like, a decent amount. Um, so Bobby has a really hard lane, so <clears throat> he should be struggling. He's doing a good job, like, just kind of holding it down even though he died. But, uh, the Grom just has a very free game, in my opinion. And, uh, Otis is pretty, like, good, and then Crow has slows. So, yeah, it's 1-1, and, uh, the game that we won was really convincing. And <clears throat> once we get control, like, one time with this, I think it's really good. So you can see Sans going really aggro. He does have the vision turret. Uh, it's not even just for vision, it's also really good for like blocking like a 3k B shot. So he's gonna put it up and uh, once we get control here, I think it's like really, really good. So Zulan's gonna miss some shots, Bobby's doing a good job just being sneaky. And uh, yeah, so right here in my opinion, the game should like be kinda over. Bobby's gonna slow his Livy, Sans, gonna get him one shot. And they're just kinda like spawn trapped at this point and it's really hard for them to get out. So Bobby's going to do a backward crow jump. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. He's going to kill his Livy, and uh, Zara's going to get a really nice kill on, uh, I think their Penny it was. And now we just got to worry about the Amber, but we're one gem from uh, Countdown, and they're only at five. So it's looking really good. We just have to play it patient. And like in VC, I'm like, yo, guys, just take your time. Like, there's no rush. Like, wait for a good gem spawn. Like, and then Sans just kind of... Runs in and dies, and then uh, Bobby goes down, and it's just like the worst case scenario. Like, it's like pretty tough, honestly. Uh, so, yeah, I think we definitely should have won that one, and uh, even like the last one. Like, I think it should be 3 0, like, based off the comps. Like, Trap's playing good, but I think we had comp like all three games, to be honest. All right, guys, so uh, set number four is Shooting Star, and I'm back in for this one, so I'm on Bell, and yeah, we did lose the first game, unfortunately, 
Um, it was pretty close. It's just like hard for our comp to get a kill, I think. So uh, yeah, they did get the blue star both games, and I think that makes it a lot harder. But we do get position, so I'm setting up some bell traps. And uh, Tyrant's trying to kill Zara, but me and him just hit like a few really good shots on him. I think we hit him like five, six times in a row there and just kind of melted him. So he wasn't expecting it. And uh, having the lead with like comps like this, it's very good. Uh, so they have to play into us. And you know, we have a thrower, we have like bell traps, we have gene heals, gene pull. So it's really good. We're just trying to get the matchups right. Bobby wants to be on the gusts. Uh, I think the Bonnie's like too tanky for him. And uh, Zara on the thrower, obviously, and uh, yeah, me on the Bonnie. So Bell's pretty like versatile. I can kind of go against whoever. And uh, yeah, Zara's getting some really good shots on Tyrant. I am getting kind of backed up here though. And uh, yeah, the Grom shots come a lot faster, so you got to be careful with that. And uh, yeah, they're looking to get Bobby there. He's gonna stay alive though. Tyrant did get the shield, so he's gonna pop Gadget and just run us down. I shot a wall twice. <laughs> And I'm um, 1 HP, just kind of wiggling. Like, I know if you kind of hug the wall, it's like you're safe against Grom unless he's got the right angle. So Zara goes down, but Bobby gets a really nice kill. And uh, is Livy is going to be, like, one shot here. And, uh, yeah, I, like, we need to kill him there, obviously. And it was just, like, really unfortunate that he got out. So it kind of sucks this late into the game. And uh, I think we get Tyrant, but uh, he's going to take Bobby out, too. And... Yeah, just we definitely should win that one, so I don't want to make excuses. I think we just kind of played like pretty sloppy overall today. Like, I think the comps were really good. I think Tri played good. Consider I think we had comp the first three games. This one, I think it's like they have comp a bit, but uh, yeah, I like definitely sucks losing like that. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Once again, shout out to repeat.gg. Uh, make sure you guys go sign up for that tribe tournament that I'm going to be playing in. Hope you guys have good holidays, and I'll put out some more videos soon. I'll stream. And uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. Peace.